All right, y'all, it is 8 p.m. About to head to the gym and hit a shorter workout because tomorrow my girlfriend's gonna start working out again. She hasn't in a while because she's been so busy with her multiple jobs and everything. But yeah, we're gonna hit legs tomorrow, so I'm gonna save it for tomorrow, hit shoulders instead. What's good, y'all? Just got home from work. About to do this voiceover, obviously. But um, today in this video, we're doing shoulders. I always start off with this behind the neck, you know, shoulder press, military press. Gets it really good, you know. I'm trying to, um, you know, get away from the high weight, you know, the heavy weight uh, military press with the dumbbells, where I used to do. I'm trying to go like past 100 and stuff like that, but it, it really just kind of messes up my joints and screws up my lifts for chest. It just doesn't work out. So I just do light, <clears throat> light weight on these uh, behind the neck military press because you know it really really hits it really good because you're not using too much of your upper chest um, it doesn't take away from the shoulders so that's why I really like doing that first and then it leads on to these dumbbell military presses what I used to do as a priority um, and I only go up to 80 pounds because there's no need to go higher you know I'm just getting that nice contraction and really feeling it out Doing like four sets of these, really focusing on going low and uh, you know getting getting deep and just not not really locking out as you can see. So today I really just want to talk about setting up yourself for success in the gym. You know, people are always wondering like, what should I eat? Uh, how what sets and rep should I do it all matters but what really matters is organizing your day around the gym so that's what I really want to touch on today uh, I want to look back in my you know in my career and I never really ate right or worked out correctly you know I, I didn't really know what I was doing years like one through three so how, how it happened was I just was really, really adamant on um, getting into the gym and having my day revolve around the gym. So I would, you know, anything that bad that would happen that I need to get something off my chest, you know, the gym would be my escape. Uh, you know, my free time to get over it, not think about anything, just try not to let whatever was bothering me um, to not bother me. So I also went to the gym when things were do going really well. I'd be like, hell yeah, I got, I made a bunch of money today or, you know, I got a good grade. This day would be much better if I ended it with the gym. So anything bad that happens, I would go to the gym. Anything good that would happen, I would go to the gym. And then on any regular day where nothing good or bad would happen, I would make it a point to go to the gym. So um, I was really, that was like my thing. Any occasion, like obviously like not as many bad occasions would happen as good, but all the good occasions, I would make it a point to go into the gym and make that day that much better. And you know, I think about it like, other people probably don't do this. You know, they're like, oh yeah, you know, good day in the stock market. I don't need to go to the gym. I already did something that was good. But the way I thought about it was like, exponentially, you know, my day could be just that much better with the cherry on top of going to the gym. You know what I mean? So that's really what I would advise you all to do. Um, and definitely schedule your day around it, you know? If your friends want to hang out, you gotta, you gotta tell them no. You know, like things that you really want badly in life, there's a sacrifice. You know, Bill Gates, for example, he was one of the richest men for like five years straight or something, and then Warren Buffett took over or whatever. 
but his story was from the age of 20 to 31, he said he never took a day off. So you might think about that, like, that's his 20s, like, I'm having the time of my life, honestly, and I'm like, in my 20s, Bill Gates skipped out on a whole decade of some of his best years, and, you know, through financial um, strategy and being a great CEO, he achieved, you know, billions and billions of dollars, and he uh, is a great example of sacrificing, uh, you know, things, which is social life, to achieve, you know, greater things in life. So that's, if you really want to get big, man, and you have a full-time job, like, the, the impressive physique is not going to just come itself. You're not going to be able to do everything you want to do. You won't be able to eat great. You won't be able to hang out all the time. And some of your friends won't understand. They're going to say... You work out too much. Your parents would probably tell you that, you know, there's there's more important things to do. And uh, that was actually my case. You know, my parents never understood. They still don't understand. They see me and I've gotten some gains, and they're like, "You look fat." I'm like, "Mom, this is <laughs> this is muscle." What? Uh, you know, there's no explaining. But yeah, no one's really gonna understand and. It's your story, your mission, so, you know, you got to do it on your own terms. There's no one that's going to tell you the right thing to do and no one's going to tell you the wrong thing to do because, you know, working out is like, it's all you, man. Like, you make it in the gym, uh, you, you have a bad day, you go work out, you have a good day, you go work out. Just have everything revolve around the gym and you will succeed. Because just like my last video, I said you got to make it in there every day that you're supposed to get in there. Don't have any extra work, uh, break days, nothing like that. Stay on schedule. And sometimes I didn't even have a schedule. So, and you, if you guys have been keeping up with my, my videos, sometimes I'll go like seven days straight. I'll actually, like last summer, I think I went like 20 days straight when I did my like... Uh, cut it series. Yeah, I was like Something just clicked and I was just going ham, but <laughs> That used to be my objective. I would be like I Just really want to get in the gym every day. I'm gonna go and like It was just pure addiction, you know what I mean? For dinner, really late dinner, it's like 10, almost 11 p.m. Got 14 ounce steak, ribeye, some broccoli, three servings of rice, got two scoops of protein, and A1 sauce. Oh, and while I have it on the table, I got a new MacBook Pro. Pretty excited. I'm trying to step up my YouTube game. Um, you know, my girlfriend got me an iMac, and um, basically I just traded it for this MacBook Pro because, you know, laptops is way, 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 way better for YouTube. Totaling at 2975 looking really good for my semi-bulk, so that's like exactly where I want to be. And then the macros... 295 grams of carbs, 89 grams of fat, 231 grams of protein. Here are the percentages. 